welcome to the last part of PEB roof monitor detailing technical structures and uh, uh, the, uh, this section, this part will be a little bit short because what we are just about to perform is very, very, is very little because just uh, uh, populate this all the way to to this far end here, and it's very, very easy. What we can do is we just come here, and uh, and and for now, I think we don't need to have the points here. We don't want to see the points, and don't, we don't need to copy the points because it's, it's it will add so many points along. And now what to do, I'm going to double click. So once I double click right there, I'm going to come to display. If I come to display right there, if I come to display, let me just give you some time to load that information. So once I come to display, I'll be able to 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 uncheck the point there and click modify and give it an OK and uh, maybe click OK right there and apply and OK. So we've lost the points. The points are not visible anymore. So if I turn that like that, you can see we have that in place and our monitor roof is nicely done and well well detailed so the part remaining is to populate it all the way to the other side of the structure so let's do that right away so the first step is to make sure everything has been selected like in this in this particular case but you leave out what you don't want to carry along so make sure your window of selection is uh, i hope you are, you understand how to select you left click Make sure uh, the point you're clicking on when you create uh, a window will be able to cover everything. Let me just create that. But in, in case you've left any part out, you'll come back and select them individually. Select on that. So once I've selected on that, I'll go press, uh, press control and select on the base, base plate and select on the base plate and select on and go check any part that I've left out. So once I've done so, I'm going to make sure that that uh, this is populated accurately all the way to the other side. And prior to that, you have to uh, count how many do you need. We have one in already in place. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We need 14 more of these. So once we register 14 of these, I'm going to right click and come and come to interrupt so once i'm interrupt i'm going to right click once again and come to special copy so take into account the center to center of every column that is six meters so six meters we change everything to zero here under uh, uh, copy copy linear dialog box so under the axis where we intend to populate this which is which is on the y-axis in, in this case. So we'll work on the y-axis here. So we'll prefix that dimension, the negative sign, because we are moving, the y-axis is pointing the opposite direction and we, we, we are coping, going that way. So that is the reason why I'm prefix, putting a negative sign here. So how many do we need here? We need 14, I think 14. I've forgotten the counts that we made. So let's let's wait for it this side immediately i initiate the copy command so let me go ahead and click copy so if i click copy we'll be able to find we'll be able to see the copy copying moving all the way to this far end here so this is where we are and that has been copied and you can see we've, we've been requested to expand which means there is an extra copy of the same so just allow expand so that we see reason why it, it is expanding so the reason why it, it is expanding is because we had picked some steel we had picked some steel peb lines here so we have just to get rid of them so if i come here and close that and uh, select the whole thing here so once i've selected the whole thing the reason why i'm selecting the whole thing because i want to confine this working area to uh, to the to the building only i don't need to some unnecessary work area available around my uh, around the structure so let me just once i've done so i'm going to right click and come to fit to to that option so let me just uh, drag something here away because it's kind of blocking my way there it's a it's a it's, it's a recording uh, to tool so let me just go back and do the same thing come and uh, fit work area to fit work area in the selected views. So once I've picked on that, everything will be squeezed, and our working area will be will be within this area. 
so you can see it's nice and uh, this far we've gone so if, if I switch the view of or if I come to view list here and uh, bring an elevation of this or a view from uh, grid line A we'll be able to see uh, where we are so this is how it looks when you take a look of it at as at this section from that from from grid line A so that this is our so this is our uh, monitor uh, moni roof monitor so that's how you can do it so, so to sit back to our previous isometric view or model view just press control tab and it will be will be back where we were so i think that's enough for for the for the roof monitor and always don't forget to save your work as we move along so let me then on a different topic where we'll be discussing in just a few minutes to come.